Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to show you how to animate your logo using Classic Twin. So um, this is the, um, the final product we're going to have today. On the controls menu, let me test the movie in browser. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. Very simple, but it looks pretty cool. Okay. And then also after that, we're going to export it as an MP4 file. So you can upload it um, on any social media as a video file. Okay, so um, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first, uh, please download the, uh, this logo image. Uh, it's an illustrator file and then um, uh, one Photoshop file for the background image is Coffee Beans so you can download these images uh, from the link I provided in my description and also I'm gonna make a link to uh, this 4D the Coffee Shop logo design tutorial so you can make some others and then uh, you can apply the same techniques uh, on these uh, other three logos as well okay so first let's create a new um, Adobe Animate document. Okay, so I'm going to have uh, 600 pixel by 600 pixel square uh, for the Instagram um, post and 30 frame rate and HTML5 canvas and create it. Okay, so let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to import my background image. So on the file, import to stage, uh, which is this one, coffeebeans.jpg. Okay. Oh, by the way, before we do that, let's change the stage color to black. Okay. See, we have a black background. Okay, now open that the logo image in Illustrator, so Illustrator file. Select everything, then copy and back to Adobe Animate, create a new layer, and let me paste it, add it, paste in center. Please check paste using AI uh, file importer. Okay, so uh, it is located here. First, there are a few things I need to do. So uh, this logo uh, has a lot of different parts. So let me select the very outer border first and hold on the shift key click on this see so I'm selecting the two things at a time then go to modify and group them then go to modify again and arrange, arrange and send to back okay and then let me select my text cafe Monte Alto and the best coffee in town let me hold on the shift key and I'm going to group them again. Group. Okay. And also, there are two stars. Select the one, hold down the shift, select the second stars, and I'm going to group them. Okay. Then now, select here the very first keyframe, go to modify, timeline, distribute to layers. see so first thing yeah, I need to know which layer has which image so first the bottom layer that's my background layer so I'm going to rename this layer as BG background let me zoom out again my second layer is my uh, kind of uh, orange seal so I'm going to rename it as a seal next layer is a brown ring I'm going to name it as brown ring. Next layer must be small circle. So um, I'm going to name it small circle. Next one, coffee cup. So I'm going to name it as a cup. Next one must be text layer text 
The last one must be stars. Stars. Okay, now we are ready to apply the classic twin. Uh, uh, before we do that, uh, this the uh, orange seal, I can see that, but I want to uh, have some kind of a special effect on it, like auto glowing things. So let me select the seal, that image, this one, click on that on your stage, and on your properties panel, you're going to see that uh, convert to symbol button. Click on it. I'm going to convert it as a movie clip symbol because I'm going to apply some of the auto glowing filter and the filter only works with the movie clip symbol so the name is gonna be uh, just a seal okay once you convert it see that there's a filters option click on the plus to add a new filter I'm gonna add glow and then um, the color is going to be black and uh, want to have 300% and then the blurring uh, amount maybe 30 pixels see so now I can see the, the logo uh, more clearly okay now I'm ready to animate it so first uh, select the, um, uh, the first keyframe of a seal layer Hold down the shift key, select the other first keyframe of the, the brown ring. And then highlight the frame number one and the frame number 30, one second mark. Those two keyframes, insert the keyframe, keyframe. Okay, select both layers, place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle, either bottom layer or the second layer. Hold on the control key or right click and create classic twin. Okay, so nothing's happening yet. So I'm back to the very beginning. So my time indicator, the play hat on my first keyframe, my seal, select the other first keyframe. Now switch your tool to the uh, free transform tool. Hold on the shift key and make it a little bit bigger, like that. Okay, and also I'm going to rotate it, uh, hold down the um, uh, shift key, I'm going to rotate 90 degree. So it's going to be like this, see? It's pretty cool. Okay. If you want to rotate even more, you can rotate 180. I like this one better. Okay, then on my first keyframe where I inserted the classic twin, highlight the first keyframe. Then, uh, in your properties panel, uh, there is the ease option here. I'm going to set to 100 so you can control the speed. You will see the difference. See? It's getting a little slower. Okay, looks good. Now, my brown ring I want to do something with that um, since the, my, the uh, orange seal is kind of getting smaller I want to have a kind of opposite things so I um, uh, highlight the first keyframe and then choose your free transform tool hold down the shift key I'm gonna make it smaller like that so this will happen okay that's pretty good and let me hide uh, all top four layers for now. Okay. Let me select here on my first keyframe, your orange seal. I'm going to change the color effect, the alpha value down to zero. I'll do the same thing for the brown ring. Click on your brown ring, that thing, and then alpha down to zero. So this will happen. They are fading in. It's pretty cool. Okay, now I'll do some more. So I'm going to make the, all the layers visible now. Let me select uh, next to two. Small circle and the cup. So I want to uh, animate these two items after the orange seal and then the uh, brown rings. 
So I'm going to select those two, keep pressing, and move it up to one second mark. Then I want to animate a little bit quicker. So I um, highlight the frame number 45 on the uh, cup layer, hold down the shift key, 45 on the, uh, the small circle layer, insert the keyframe. Select both layer, select the layer, hold down the shift key, select the cup layer, and hold on the control, place your mouse cursor somewhere in between and click or right click, create classic twin. Okay. So this time, the ring, the first one, uh, high, and then the small circle. Choose the, um, uh, your free transform tool, hold on the shift key, and make it bigger. And then first keyframe of my coffee cup, I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, and then let me change the alpha value down to zero. And then uh, first keyframe of my the small uh, circle, this one, alpha down to zero. So this will happen, see? So first seal and then the brown rings coming in, and this happens. Next is my text. So my text layer, I'm going to have that after my coffee cups coming in like this. Okay, so another 15 frames, so a two second mark, insert the keyframe, then hold down the, um, the control key or right click and click somewhere in between any, any frame, then choose create classic twin. Okay, so on my first keyframe, I want to rotate it. Uh, I can use the, the free transform tool again, or you can use the uh, transform panel and let me rotate maybe a minus 90 degree like that. And also at the same time, so it's going to be kind of a rotating like this, but what I want to do is I want to, on my first keyframe of this, my text layer, select your text and then choose the color effect alpha so it's a spinning and fading in like that and also uh, on my first keyframe highlight the first keyframe let me change the ease option down to minus 100 so it's going to be like that so far very last one is my stars i'm going to have my stars after my text so on two second marks, just move it to frame number 60. Uh, that star will be coming in even faster. So maybe on just the yeah, frame number 70. Just 10 frame. Insert the keyframe. Hold on the control or right click. And then click somewhere in between. Classic twin. Okay. On my first keyframe, I'm going to make it... Uh, Hold down the shift and make it bigger. Also, uh, I'm going to change the, uh, the color effect uh, alpha down to zero. So it is coming in and fading in. Also, I want to control the speed uh, like I did for the text. So ease option, uh, minus 100. So, so far, this is what we have. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now I want to make everything stay because then the very last keyframe I only see the stars. So what I'm going to do is select the frame number 70, in my case, the last frame of my second layer, hold down the shift key, click on the bottom, then insert the keyframe. So this will happen. That's pretty nice. Okay, uh, and then also I want to have some uh, more effect on my background. So um, select the other, any frame in between on your background layer, hold on the control key, click, choose the classic twin. Now I'm back to the very beginning, very first keyframe, click on your image, and then change the alpha value down to zero. So uh, we start from black, the blank. 
that's pretty cool let me test the movie on the controls menu test movie uh, in my browser it's pretty nice but it keeps looping so I want to make it stay a little longer so my total duration is about a, a little over two seconds so uh, what I'm gonna do is um, maybe three more seconds about the 160 frame number 160 select all 160 frames insert just the keyframe and let me test the movie again control test the movie in browser good one two three and again so once you upload it on your Instagram or the social media it will just keep uh, replaying like this okay now let me save my file file save as I'm gonna save it as uh, logo underscore animation save it now let me export it as mp4 file before we do that make sure uh, your uh, media encoder this application is open so this uh, media encoder will convert your FLA uh, animate file into mp4 video file for web streaming so go to file now export video and media not movie video and media uh, I'm not gonna change make sure your format is H264 and then I'll put my destination I want to save it in my folder uh, logo animation so it will have the logo animation mp4 save it and make sure you check start other media encoder rendering things and export it okay let me check my folder see so I have mp4 file okay isn't it nice we'll play again okay so um, I hope you enjoy this video tutorial and that you can apply this uh, classic twin logo designing things um, for other logos or the, some other the, uh, um, the coffee logos um, from my the previous video tutorial so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time